Hey YouTube, this is Praxis Prepper. I was just on my news feed recently and I noticed an article come up about North Korea, uh, about Pyongyang issu issuing a a warning? I guess, it's, I don't know, it's a press release or maybe it's a warning. Anyway, they said that tomorrow, and at the time of this recording, tomorrow is April the 13th, 2017, that there is going to be a quote-unquote big event that everybody should be looking out for. Now, North Korea is always full of bluster. They're always talking about the fury they're going to unleash on their adversaries, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, you know, I'm not rewriting my schedule for tomorrow. Um, but I am taking some precautions. Why is that? Well, the past, uh, the, the past actions of North Korea are not necessarily predictive of their future actions if the, the situation around them has changed. And I feel that the situation around them has changed to some degree. Trump right now is sending over a carrier group uh, what, is it a carrier group or um, a bunch of dangerous United States Navy ships over to uh, North Korean waters uh, in response to them, you know, well, pretty much being dicks. <laughs> you know, North Koreans are just kind of always dicks. So he's sending over these warships. Um, you know, the cynical part of me uh, looks at that and that's kind of the best way to start a war that you don't want to be accused of having started. You know, you put your people and your, your ships in harm's way and wait for the other person to fire on them. You know, you get more and more provocative and then, you know, they finally do something, you know, fire a, a missile warning shot or something like that. God forbid it hits one of the United States ships and then, you know, the war just starts itself at that point, you know, and nobody can say, well, Trump started it because he, you know, no, but we were shot on. What else could we do? You know, so that's a great way of starting a war is putting your people out in harm's way. Um, but uh, that's beside the point. At the moment, I want to talk about uh, what might be happening with, with North Korea and what they might be planning on doing. Uh, I think it's just a missile test. I think they're going to do a missile test or maybe they're going to have an extra big parade. We're also coming up on their anniversary. I guess the 15th of April is the anniversary of Kim Jong Un's was it great grandfather or great great grandfather or something great or grandfather I don't know one of his ancestors figured out that they were a god on April fifteenth or something <laughs> so and that's when they started their their new regime so so you know maybe it's just a big ass parade that they're gonna uh, be having so I you know I don't I, I don't know but I took some measures I filled up my water tank in the basement you got that EMP threat. You, know, you want to have your water filled up. <laughs> uh, I'm not rewriting my schedule for the rest of the day, though. Thought I'd share that with you, though. Big event tomorrow, April the 14th, 15th, 13th. 13th. I'm sorry, I'm getting my dates all screwed up. Probably because I'm enjoying some wine. Yeah, and why not? If the world's about to end. You know, why not? I didn't want to do this whole video without some kind of an actual thing, though. Because it's probably just all bluster and gusto coming out of Pyongyang and Kim Jong-un. So I want to talk about this thing. This is a new add-on that I added to the goldfish tanks. Now, the way my goldfish tanks work, these are big tanks in the greenhouse. This is uh, like 300 gallons of water up in this one, and it cascades down into a lower tank that I'm sitting on right now. Well, I'm sitting on the edge of it. Uh, and I always just have an issue with, I would feed the fish up here, with put a little fish food in here, and I've got water cascading up into that, and whenever I did, I had water cascading and fish food on the surface, the fish food would all run off this little cascade down into the lower tank, and the big fish up at the top didn't get to have all their food. So what I added was this, and this uh, is just, uh, I put a piece of burlap down, and some stones, and then put some dirt down, and some moss right across the surface, and there's a little gargoyle to, you know, keep the evil demons away. Uh, and it acts as a filter that filters the water as it trickles from one tank to the other. So that's good. It's, it's kind of helping to fil filter out some of the particulates. There's a lot of algae in these tanks because uh, I, don't, I don't do anything other than feed them. I'm trying to create kind of a balanced ecosystem, and I'm letting it kind of figure itself out. And at the moment, uh, algae seems to be what it's figuring out for itself. <laughs> There's a lot of algae. You can kind of barely see the fish when they're like that close from the surface or so. Like maybe three or four inches you can start to see them and they come up. But I created this thing and it's a little natural filter that uh, filters the water as it comes down and it also keeps uh, the top surface of the water from shedding all of the food as it goes down there. So it's just one of the little things that makes life just a little nicer around here. And 
That's what it's all about. So appreciate the little things before North Korea destroys us and throws us into a post-apocalyptic hell. Uh, enjoy your April the 12th while you have it. And April the 13th, we will deal with nat uh, North Korea's big furious event, which is probably just a nuclear test or a parade. <laughs> That's it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video.